Welcome to Rutre. Rutre. Utrecht is very well connected by trains from Amsterdam or Rotterdam or other major European cities. It is virtually the geographical center of the Netherlands. Intercity train from Amsterdam takes about 30 minutes and regular train from Rotterdam takes about 40 minutes only. Let's see how we spend a day here in Utrecht. Utrecht is famous for the iconic dome tower, a 14th century bell tower with city views. Stands opposite to the dome cake aka the Gothic Cathedral of St. Martin on Dome Plain aka Dome Square. Dome Cake is once the largest cathedral in the Netherlands. The cathedral tower is the tallest church tower in the Netherlands. Dome Tower was built in the 14th century as part of St. Martin's Cathedral. However, the two monuments were separated by a tornado in the 13th century. Welcome to Rutre. Rutre. Yeah, we just finished the tour um, uh, called the Dome Under. Dorm under basically allows you to go down. See there, back there, there's a little staircase right behind those rocks. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. There it is, yeah. yeah. So, um, so that allows you to go in and see some of the different uh, layers of uh, archaeological exploration that have occurred. Um, so it was really fascinating. We also learned that, what I was pointing out earlier, this differences in the uh, brickwork here on the outside actually are to represent the buildings that used to be here. This is a, a former church, this outline here in the dark. And you can see the other cathedral, part of the cathedral. There it is. Can we move that away so you can see it in the dark color there? That would have also uh, connected the tower, which is currently under restoration, with the other, the current cathedral. And, uh, and we learned about how that was uh, knocked down and, and uh, damaged during a, during a major wind event uh, back in the day. It took on some new significance for the square here. All of this activity over the centuries occurred in the former um, uh, Roman line uh, structure here, the fortification that this whole area was built in because they utilized the materials to uh, to uh, basically construct the current cathedrals and structures to, to push uh, the Christianity and other uh, aspects. So basically, layer on top of layer of uh, society over the centuries, over a couple centuries, can all be found here in this square and beneath the square. So about two centuries of history here. Definitely worth a look. And uh, the tour is really good. Highly recommend it. Really brings it all together. Otherwise, you're walking around looking for lines and bricks on the ground and not really getting the whole picture. So it's really, uh, really cool. And, and we find out why the Roman frontier is like all around Netherlands and Germany. And yes. Because they are building fortifications to, along, river, along rivers river. in order to... And every nine kilometers. There is another fortification to create yes. a line. So that's why the, a line we, we saw the line. Yeah, lime with an M. Yeah, with an uh, M. To, <laughs> which is a yeah. form of fortification on the ex uh, outskirts of the empire. Yeah. According to the old Roman. So that's uh, why, yeah. 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 So and, that's why there is a line. Yeah, and that's why there's a couple of these uh, spread throughout the town. Yeah. So, yeah. So anyways, so to conclude, definitely check it out. There's a lot of history right here. And it's very subtle. If you're just biking through, you would not notice it. 
So. And the tour is uh, 14 euro. Yeah, 14 euros and takes about an hour and 15 uh, minutes. English. You can get English and you can get uh, in uh, Dutch. And it is quite interactive. Yes, You've got a device, like at first, like the, <laughs> the guide will uh, explain the history first. Yeah. And then other, and then after that, you can get a device and then you can hold it and then you can, it's like a torch. Yeah. Flashlight. Um, yeah, then, and you shine it at these infrared sensors, which then trigger the, uh, the narration. Yeah. Explain the yeah, artifacts you're looking at. So it is quite interactive. Yeah, it's quite fun. Quite mm -hmm. interactive. Yeah. So you need to touch a piece of history, yeah. which is really cool. All right, well, off we wander, see the city. Around the Doom Square, we could see a bunch of Roman lines. Back 2,000 years ago, the northern border of the Roman Empire cuts across what is now the Netherlands. The Romans used the term line, which means border, when referring to the empire's frontier, which is now a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Spanning some 6,000 kilometers, the limes was guarded by a system of forts, watchtowers, and roads. When in the Doom Square, we also visited the 14th century courtyard. It is the perfect place to rest and it is located just next to the Dome Kick. The gardens are surrounded by a medieval-style arcade and has a fountain in the middle. It is free of charge to enter the courtyard. Utrecht is also famous for its old canal. We just strolled over the old canal and had a very relaxing walk. It is a popular dining area with lots of cafes and restaurants by the water, along multiple stretches of the canal. It has high banks and underground tunnels built in to reduce the risk of flooding. Hence, there are some wharves and tunnels you won't see if you don't get down to the canal level. Another place in Utrecht that impressed us most was the world's largest bicycle parking garage, built below the Utrecht train station. It is a three-story bicycle parking garage that could store 12,656 bikes. Not only this bicycle parking garage, actually the massive use of bicycles around the cities are very impressive too. That's so cool. 24 hours free. Yeah. There's a change. Available parking spots. <laughs> Utrecht is a place you will get more surprised by just walking around the city. The local library in Utrecht is one of the surprises. It looks like an old architecture outside, but it surprises us when you enter the building. If I were a student in Utrecht, I would get very good grade by spending most of my time here. Utrecht is definitely an interesting place as it looks modern but full of history at the same time. As a supporter of mass transit, we are happy to see bicycles are more dominant than cars in the society. Utrecht has shown the world that it is possible to go green with action. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel and follow along more of our travel adventures. See you next time.